What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Lil Sis Reacts. I'm Tamaj, this is Taya. And this is Rini. And we are at our favorite time of the week. It's how to get away with murder time, baby. This is season two, episode six, Two Birds, One Millstone. I actually um, hate that saying because, well, like, why are you killing birds? Well, they, they put a little twist on her. It says one millstone, okay, which is but Asher's last name. You see what they I, did there? Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. But I feel like he gonna be taking out more than two people. That's the, that's, that's, that, that's everybody. Um, they, they, I mean, if they're gonna silence, I don't know. Uh, there was so much happening last episode. I don't even, I didn't even look at my notes to even refresh myself because it was so much. I was like, I'm tapped out. But it just had a lot to do with, you know, Annalise the and Bonnie. Um... I don't even know what happened. <laughs> it was so much. I was like, Basically, you know. Basically, Asher is like indecisive on whether or not he wants to snitch. Even though that the snitch is a lie. But. At the end, he did go to the police station in the flash forward. Mm -hmm. so and Bonnie, Bonnie had, had blood all over her shirt. So something had happened. I can't put the flash forward together this time around. Like, I can't even make an educated guess. Bonnie. Having blood under her clothes means she was hiding it, so she had to have done something. But I can't see her shooting Annalise. She's just way too, you know, obsessed with Annalise. But maybe she's had enough. I do think Bonnie at a point is going to reach her breaking point. And I don't know, her and Annalise's relationship, I mean, she has given so much to show Annalise. She is devoted that, you know, she wants to do everything. But maybe something happens in these few weeks that, because we're close. Um, I think we were three weeks last time, but there's something that's going to happen, I think, that's going to break Bonnie, and it's just going to be too much. Because, I mean, like, there's something wrong with her, because the way she copes is Annalise yelling and insulting her. Like, when she got on the phone with Annalise, she was like, I just need you to tell me what I did wrong, like, insult me, yell at me, yada, yada, yada. And Annalise was just like, you think that's all I do? Like, yes, girl, that's all you do. And Annalise may not realize it, but she shows her tough love. But Bonnie was even like, I'll go to the, I'll go to jail. If that's what it takes to end this situation, I'll go, I'll go. And it's just like, Annalise is, doesn't want that to happen. But right, she wants nobody in jail, she's, which is understandable. Yeah, but, Annalise is struggling too because she's spiraling because she got a lot going on. We're still dealing with the investigation of Sam's murder, I, I believe, and everything like that. Uh, just because they um, they told the prosecution to put the case together. But then you got this other prosecutor who's trying to get Annalise for misconduct and illegal activity, which means, you know, they got Asher trying to sit. Like, it's too much. Then Bonnie got this lie going on. It's like, how do we juggle all this? Connor's slipping, um, and she had to get him in line and basically say, I'm the villain here, and I got the leverage over you. I got your car, so West do what you is... want to do with that. Wes is also slipping. He been stopped helping everybody with this. He'd be like, I got to go. I don't care nothing about what y'all got going on. I'm trying to figure out what happened to Rebecca. So they still trying to cover up that murder. Yeah, and then the it's other three think that he's delusional and going insane when reality, he was on something. Was Basically, on something. what Annalise did she set him up. to the the Keating Four, like, other than um, Wes, it, well, even to Wes, they basically did what they did with Sam. So they told the police, oh, Sam ran away. He was guilty. So they basically, she tried to pull the Rebecca ran away card. But in both scenarios, both people are murdered, but they keep, but you know what I mean? Because they were such rocky people, you know what I mean? They're just playing the runaway card. But Wes is like, no, I know she's dead, but I just need to know who and how. And so he working with anybody, but I think eventually Wes is going to turn on Annalise. It, you know what? I wouldn't even be shocked if he shot her. Maybe he find out that they had something to do with Rebecca's death. Um, and he was the one who shot Annalise. Um, because I'm thinking uh, it could have been the murder twins, but... We saw Michaela go into the apartment with the one dude. He wasn't even there. I don't know where the girl is, though. And then the prosecutor had her face bashed in. I don't think any of the Keaton Ford would do that. So it might have been the sister. But I again, I don't know why she had the blood on her. Connor was worried. Everybody else was trying to get up out of there. Wait, was that was that a gas station scene fast forward or present? That was, that was the flash forward. Oh, okay. That makes yeah, sense. and then she went back to the car and Asher was gone. And he was stressed out. So he was there. So he didn't see some shit. We didn't see some shit. But not enough shit to know what shit is going on. And, yeah. Basically. Pretty much. Yeah, let's just, let's just get into that. Yeah, and Levi got arrested. Oh, I That's that. the last thing I want to say. But let's get into this. Four and other reactions are available on Patreon. <laughs> Is she gonna be okay? We're taking her to surgery. Hey, you guys, not today. Please, get out of here. So hard, the wheels fly. Get him out of here. 
Sir, if they're doing everything they can. She's arrested. Sir. Starting CPR. True. No, I'm not going to ask for her. Tell me what's happening, sir. I don't think they can move critical patients that fast. Don't let her die! Look, now they're putting on a show. He said, and He's good at putting on a, sh a show. So, what is really going on here? That's why I was like, I'm, maybe she had to get shot for a certain reason. Maybe they had to murder the prosecutor. Well, there she is. Maybe something happened to where they had to shoot the prosecutor or whatever, kill her. And they had to make it look good because they can't just murder somebody and leave. They had to get at least killed and then they just come up with a fake story. So they at least had to get shot strategically. It was a risk, but I don't Did know. You, out? you know, you become less and less. No, I'm saying like Annalise. So like for some reason, maybe the prosecutor had something solid. Oh. So they murdered her, and they're like, "Well, we got to make this look good, so we maybe we'll pin it on somebody. Maybe because one of the two murder twins, and they'll say, well, Annalise, let's say such and such, kill her, and then shot you." And then maybe they're trying to, you know what I mean? Yeah, like she was the one who like shot you. And you fire back self defense, bam. But she's too dead to say that now. No, they might be like, okay, say the, the girl. Let's let's say they put it on the girl. Say the girl. Maybe we know that the girl's a murderer. Say that we know that, right? So say she. Say they can't prove it, and at least don't want to defend her. Whatever, whatever. They want to put her in jail. So they pin the murder on the girl, and that's in the back seat currently. Mm hmm. So maybe something else on the on the other part of it, the prosecution comes with something that can put them all in jail and say that. So they got to get rid of her. Okay. So they murder her, beat her to death to make it seem like the girl did it. And then they're like, to make it good, to sell the story that the girl did it, we could say that she shot Annalise and then ran. Mm. And then maybe Bonnie did the shooting and that's why she had the blood all over her. Or maybe she did the killing. I don't know, or the prosecutor. Oh. And then, you know, maybe Connor just got really worried. Like, what if she really die? You know how you'd be freaking out. And everybody else is calm because this is a part of a plan. Mm -hmm. You know, it's everybody else plus Nate. They're all cool, calm, and collected. And they went on to the next phase of the plan, which is to the, the brother. Right. Maybe the brother didn't have nothing to do with the killings or something. And maybe he just finds out and turns on the sister, too, and they want her locked up. I'm just, this is just all hypothetical. And then, because we just seen Frank put on a show. They're not really worried that Annalise is going to die. So this has to be a part of some elaborate plan of theirs. It's just a drastic plan. But that's my theory. Okay. Let's continue on. But it's probably, this show is so unpredictable, it's probably wrong. Probably. We were wrong about <laughs> who killed Sam, so. Right. Completely wrong. I mean wrong. a compliment you give yourself. I don't believe that. Shower. Uh, you go. I don't think my legs work yet. This suitcase full of cash. Clearly it has something to do with Rebecca. Or it has nothing to do with her. Hey. You don't want to hop in? Take water. Could be watching. Only because I care about the environment. Because you got coffee. What is this? Ah, oh, it's a list of bad things you could have done. I know you said you couldn't tell me, which I totally appreciate. Terrorism? See? It'll be easy. We can strike that. I'm right? not a terrorist, Ollie. Great. Let's cross off number two. Pedophilia. Oh my god. It wasn't actually that bad. You said you could go to jail for it. Which was an exaggeration. Look, let's go this way and maybe make use of the 10 minutes I have before I have to go to work. <laughs> I have to do that. I do that part of it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Said, actually, let's do a psych evaluation later. <laughs> <laughs> you reach late, leave a message. Where are you? Please, call me back. Is that your bestie, Levi? How's Jill treating him? I can take crap from Connor and Michaela, fine. But you know I'm not crazy. No, you've just made me crazy. I snooped through Frank's stuff this morning. You found something? No, and I won't because there's nothing to find. And what's with the suitcase? Oh, we were right. They're obsessing about the suitcase. Fine, I'll stop. If one of you can explain why Frank would have that much cash. Maybe it's a gambling problem or distrust in banks. Or is saving it to hire a hitman to kill him by letting me sleep with a drug dealer? Great, can we all stop this, please? 
forget about the suitcase and Rebecca and Levi for Emily's finds out we've all gone bananas again. Why right, y'all go bananas everywhere? Wes? Yeah, no, this makes sense. Did your mother drop you on your head as a baby? Because we get it. Your sad little girlfriend flaked out on you. You mean got killed? No, that's the tall tale your little weenie brain made up. So do whatever you have to do to silence the lambs or I will serial kill you. Weren't we in our seats? She's talking to y'all for. <laughs> right. The United States v. Mahoney. Mr. Millstone. Never heard of it. See? Just like this. Why the hell do you have that? Doesn't matter. How do you think Bonnie felt when Sam came at her that night? When he put his hands on her? You think she had a choice in how she reacted? No. But I said I'd testify. I know. But the good part is that you still have time to change your mind. I protect you, Asher. But we need to protect Bonnie, too. That's what we do for people that we love. Right? She had to come at him in a nurturing sense. I forget you to protect this. Good. Something else. Though. She's good at putting on the face you need to put on, whether it's the, the emotional breaking down face. Thing or... did. Yeah, this is what you should have been talking about. Tell me everything. I'll fix it. There was no this verdict the first in the U.S. Due to the victim's concerns about suffering additional emotional harm, he didn't testify, and the judge had no choice but to dismiss the case. What legal option did the prosecutor exercise in allowing the victim's request not to testify? Discretion. Okay, just trying to make sure you, you understand everything we went over. Every time you call out somebody, it doesn't make sense. Case, it's I know. Because I was shocked too. Life. But he came to me and before class and he said he changed his mind. So something you said clearly worked. Well, his dad's involved though. And Sinclair. How do we know he's not secretly cooperating with them? This is my fault. You're so used to me doubting you that you can't see when you've done something right. But that's exactly what you've done here. You fix this. And it makes sense. He loves you. Maybe you can't see it, but I can. You're not fully complete. Sorry I had to go all well, Jason Warren, you guys, but uh, your heads would literally curplode if you knew about all the crap that went on in this house. Really? <laughs> you can't tell us anything? No, not a peep. <laughs> Good, I don't want to know anything that could get me into trouble. Seriously, don't tell us anything. I, I mean, I won't. You know, Reverse psychology. AK really wants to keep this genie in a bottle, so. You really want to tell it's him. <laughs> I hear I owe you a fist bump for keeping her more quiet. What you do? Promise yours with a lap dances. Pretty much. Do you need something? I'm weak. He just stared no. like, you, you know don't trust those them. movies where you walk into the house and then the person in the lamp. What do you find when you talk to him? I don't That's know. That's what he looks like just now. The suitcase distracted him, but he's a dog with a bone about Rebecca. Don't you think I know this? Is this? I'll handle him the way I always do. I don't think you can. Right now I have to go handle a bitch. Oh, a bitch. Keating. Do we have an appointment? Let's move a little bit. I thought your schedule oh, would be happened? clear now that your star witness has abandoned you. Mr. Millstone and I still have to talk about that. No, you don't. He sent me on his behalf. I admire your ambition. You see an opportunity to grab headlines to make the big boys upstairs notice you, but you're making a rookie mistake. Of course you're gonna say that. It's not my opinion, it's the law. What you've done to Mr. Millstone amounts to witness tampering and intimidation. I make one phone call and the press will make you out to be an overzealous, law-breaking prosecutor desperate to take me down. Why? Beats me. But the reporters will come up with theories. Jealousy, egomania, racism. Fine. Racism. I'll lay off, Mr. Millstone, but only because we still have the Habstall case together. I look forward to destroying you in court. She want to be Emily so bad. I know I talk a lot about money. And yes, a part of it is my pride. But it's also about our clients. Now, Catherine and Caleb have placed their lives in our hands. Do I think they're guilty? I have no clue. But I do know what it feels like to be misunderstood, to have people expect the worst from you. We owe Catherine and Caleb our best, and that means going back to the basics. Who remembers step two? Find your suspect. Yes. Emily, this is Professor Hartford. Tell her, call them back. Catherine and Caleb have said that they were framed. Now we need to find out who they think did that. Go to the mansion. It's urgent. Urgent my ass till I don't want to go to a stupid anniversary party. Our clients are rich. Rich people usually have enemies. We need to look at family members, business partners. She says it's an emergency. Oh, for God's sakes. This better be good, Jill. Slow down. He came at me with the bottle yelling. I didn't know what to do, so I grabbed it out of his hand and I, oh my God, Annalise. What'd you do? 
I killed Steven. Oh my god. Lord. You told me exactly what happened. He was out all night. He came home slurring, screaming at me. I tried to leave for class. He this is my co worker. Shouldn't I call the police? In a second. Was it the first time he came at you? No. Was he abusive? Joe, we don't have any time for secrets. Sometimes when he drank, he'd get angry. I should have left him a long time ago, I know. Are there any signs of a struggle? What do you mean? Well, you're telling me it's self-defense. They attacked you. Are there any signs of that? He, uh, knocked over a Knock chair. Knock over some mouth! And, uh, Stop! There's some stuff on the coffee table. Did he hit you? Leave any marks on your body? There's some scratches on my arm. All right, I want you to hang up, call 911, and don't talk to the police till I get there. Not a word, okay? Okay, please hurry. Now, if they use that phone call, that's gonna help her. Get your white machine game on. I don't think you can really just do that. Yeah. Okay, the only way they can use the phone call is if they wiretap it. Oh, you you gotta get a warrant for that. Caleb shot Catherine, but I'm forced to shot him, and now they're both dead. They can use maybe texts and stuff if they you know, see it in your phone and things like that and use it for evidence, but as far as phone records, you gotta have a warrant. You. Just say something. They have to be connected in the murder. Like if it was a planned murder and they wanted I'm to sorry. Something. You know what I mean? If it was premeditated, but this isn't that. For true. what happened to you, what Sam did, it's not right. I just wish there was something I could say. And you just did. And you're protecting me. I should be the one thanking you. How's your father? Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to ignore his. Call us till he chills. And Lise can handle this, right? Annalise takes care of everything. Annalise! I'm surprised you didn't get here before me. I got him just in time to see your boys contaminating the crime scene. Let's make note of this officer here not wearing any gloves. We'll be using that in court. So you agree we're uh, going to trial on this one? If you're dumb enough to charge her, test his blood, see how drunk he was when he attacked her. You didn't talk to anyone, did you? No, no. I can't believe I did this. No, you did not do this. He did this the first time he attacked you. You hear me? Well, at least like, I'm taking control of this. We gotta get ahead of this. I wanna make this as easy as possible. And I'm smooth. Well, well, we obviously know who I think our number one suspect is. The racist, Aunt Helena. She was next in line to get the money if you two went to jail. But she's dead now. Her money has to go to someone, though, right? An ex-husband, a boyfriend? A girlfriend? Old ladies can like bench, too. Our aunt willed all her money to a charity based in Africa. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. What about Miss Guthrie? Mm -hmm. She planted the success photo of you two, had access to the house. Her sister told the police she was home all night. Why aren't we considering your real parents? Your sperm and egg parents, not them. Oh, my God. Those are our real parents. You know what I mean? We're not looking into our birth parents. Why not? A jury might buy that they resented your adopted parents' ability to give you what they couldn't. So they murdered them in cold blood? That makes no sense. It does if the birth parents knew how much Catherine and Caleb would inherit. Okay, no. We're not vilifying the people who are brave enough to put their biological kids' needs before their own, thus ensuring them a safe and loving That's home. That's personal. Exactly. She was adopted, so she says. So... Please tell us those are the only potential suspects yeah, she you have. Said she's Ronald Freestone, your dad's ex-business partner who was ousted from the board. She thinks he was at risque business all night. The strip club? I'll see if you can put him there. Bunny, when Joe called us, did she call us from her cell phone? No, home. He knocked over a chair and um, there's some stuff on the coffee table. Did all that after the fact. Okay. There's some scratches on my arm. She used what I told her. What? Stay by the phone. Yeah, she said it. Get honest. There was no struggle. Yeah. She, just made she wanted to know what to do. Struggle. I can't explain. Not here. Question for you, Mrs. Hartford. Who is this? <sighs> well, that's me. Was me. Why? We've said all we're going to say at this point, Detective. Oh, no, 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 your client's lying. I haven't lied to you. You lied to your husband about what you are. You are not a lie, Detective. My husband attacked me. Only because he finally found out what you hid from him. So you killed him. No, I killed him because he was going to kill me first. Don't you dare use who him against me or you'll be next. I will be next. 
You swear Stephen knew. Yeah, this lady is. Oh my god. This is, you heard gone. the detective. They want to make this into a story they can understand. That story's played out. I know. I told Stephen on our third date. Can anyone vouch that Stephen knew? Annalise. I'm not asking for myself. I'm asking so I can defend you. Yes. There's people that can vouch for it. What they didn't know is that he was beating me because I covered up for him again and again. I just couldn't take it anymore. Why stage a crime scene? I exaggerated it. Why? Because I knew no one would believe me. How do you know? Because I do. No, you don't. And now there's a chance that they'll find out. Cece McDonald, she killed a man for attacking her because she was trans. It was self-defense, but she had to take the deal and she ended up in a men's prison because she knew no one would believe her. I needed them to believe me. Yeah, everybody lies, so we don't know if that's true or not. Okay, what? I mean, Let's what happened to her? Let's teach these bastards a lesson. I believe her story about her friend, but... Or if you may. I hope she really mm -hmm. did. It does. Frank used the storage uh, locker when I got to disappear. Truth. Went inside and found all this cash in a suitcase. Great. It, real, in reality... Very friend. What's his name? He's in jail for dealing. But I think it only set him up. They should just make a whole separate jail. Because there's tons and tons of reports no. of women assaulting and female... But anything having to do with Annalise... Stop calling me. Because of other people. Well, what about the staff? You know, my family used to have this one so. sticky finger of me, Paulette, for giving show up wearing my t shirts. Paulette. That is an ass that you could rest a drink on. Hey, you're a single lady again. You can hit that. The last time I hit that with a guy you suggested, he turned out to have three drug arrest warrants on him. Levi? Yeah. Called the police station this morning. Good news is they're shipping his ass back to Georgia so he can rot in jail there. You've had a little bad luck in the dating department, but. Caleb is innocent, maybe, which makes him totally porkable. He's not innocent. How do you know? If you're charged with murder you didn't commit, you'd want to blame anyone but yourself, even your birth parents. We're considering the birth parents again? No. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. It's recording. Who's is that? It's Catherine. She's recording us. Delete it. She'll know. Well, it's better okay. than her here us say they're killers. Oh, it's got a passcode. It's 4713. And you don't get to be mad. I recorded you. You lied to me, as did you, so I figured we might as well know what our lawyers were saying about us for once. Wow. I don't know what's more idiotic. Bad mobbing our clients in their own home or getting caught doing it. I'd say the latter. I'll talk to Caleb. Explain. No, he I just called. He doesn't this. want any of you near this case. But not me, right? You know, at least tell me you've made some headway on the suspect front. You're all garbage. <laughs> you mean all of them, right? <laughs> Not me. I, I'm still good, right? <laughs> Find everyone who knew Jill and Steven, see if anyone but this be abused. We believe her? <sighs> For some reason, I do. Yes. <sighs> Got some bad news. Oh, oh, what's the no bad news? Yeah. For real. What is it, Frank? It's worse than... There's always so much going on at once. Nate? Hope y'all feel bad because he's cheating now. It's Annalise. He got permission. His wife wanted him to be happy. I just heard and... Nah. She got permission after the fact, but... I made you a peach cobbler. What is that? I'll just leave it right here. Guilty feelings are gonna eat up at him. Uncle Plus Silas. Looks Probably. like a serial killer. His credit cards show he was in Brazil during the murders. A family lawyer. Was at a museum gala that night. Why don't we at least find out who the birth parents are? No respectable adoption agency is just gonna hand over that information to us. Then Wes can go and pretend he's Caleb. I can play his wife. We're having a baby and I need your medical history. You need an ID or a court order. And Oliver can just hack into the agency's records. Y'all got the answer to everything. No, our client specifically said not to go down this road. 
Is this about your crush on Caleb? You are the one who has a crush on Caleb. I simply think it's inappropriate to characterize birth parents as okay, birth blah, 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 blah. I'm adopted. <laughs> and no, we're not talking about it. But yes, it means I have personal feelings about this issue, which I would consider putting aside if I didn't know that this was just Wes and his crazy. How is this about me? Right. <laughs> Everything wrong about our lives is about you. Ooh. You continue to be paranoid and make us all paranoid. I'm not the one who killed Rebecca. You don't know that. No one killed Rebecca. Then explain why Frank called Bruno the night she went missing. Do you not realize this is Stanley? Get up. What? Y'all love talking Let's about Let's go ask Frank if house. he killed Rebecca. No. I'm over all the secrets. We should know better at this point. So let's just no. get an answer once and for all. No. He's going to lie. As right. would you guys if somebody asked y'all if y'all killed Sam. Exactly. Spit it out. You're gonna want to lie to us, but I'm more. But than we he didn't kill her. Wes stole the key to the storage locker because this guy Bruno told him you went there the night Rebecca disappeared. So we unlocked it to see if her dead body was in there, but we just found cash. I know. You? Guy works a gun in my buddy's face. You don't think I get a call? So, is Rebecca dead? You guess as good as mine. Then explain the cash. Why'd you put it in the storage locker with the same exact? Such money for Rebecca. So she's not right out, you dummies, for tying her up. She's an idiot for not servicing by now. Would have made for a nice payday. Any more questions? Because I like that we're all being honest with each other. For once. He's way uh, ahead of y'all. He got an answer for every question. He anticipates every question. Hi. Uh, um, I'm looking for Bonnie Winterbottom. OK. Scenario number four for the episode. Hartford as her TA. And I forgot to put her midterms in her bag. When I got to her apartment, I saw her and Steven in her car out front. I started to approach, but I stopped because- She saw Steven strike you in the face two times, three times, maybe more. Melissa doesn't recall because she was afraid and ran and never said a word to anyone because it never happened. You asked a student to lie for you. Oh, this, Did you ever suspect- This student? lady's desperate. That he was beating me senseless after every one of our dinner parties. No, but when I was too sick to attend the women you. leaders' lunch, and I begged you for six months to help me host. Of course not, because that's how good I was at hiding it. Don't be mad at me. I am mad. You're being way and too I'm desperate, sorry and you're making stuff happen. But because I didn't think of this idea myself. Melissa Greenwell saw Stephen Hartford beating my client and is willing to testify to that in open court. You tracked down one witness and expect us to drop the charges in a murder investigation? You mean the hate crime investigation? How is this a hate crime? How is it not? A woman is abused by her husband and further persecuted by an insensitive transphobic detective and now a like-minded DA's office? Drop the charges before it gets ugly. I wish I could, Annalise. But Mrs. Hartford's phone record shows a call between you and her before she called 911. There's no crime in calling a lawyer before the police. Your conversation lasted 1 minute 42 seconds. She was upset. Or you needed all that time to coach her okay. on how to make the crime scene look like a textbook self-defense case. See, that's so, what she was saying. You made something happen maybe and now it looks Maybe she's charges on the both of you. You're a client for the first degree and you for accessory after the fact. They just listen to that phone call and that's gonna happen. They have to subpoena it, like I said. They're bluffing. No way they have enough to charge you. His phone calls on my reputation, he doesn't need much else. Yeah. At least. Not now, Asher. It's yeah, that, she she messed up by making something. Yes, happen. I did. And at least was asking questions, not telling you to do stuff. Oh my gosh. She told her to should do it. Reporter just called my cell said she had questions about Tiffany. Did she say anything else? Give any details? No. That's good. How is that good? It seems clear to leak this. She leaked the name to scare you. It means nothing. But you said you'd handle her. I did. She's just too stupid to know it. I thought you were going to fix this. Everything. Because I have my dad to deal with, and I have to talk to him at some point, even though I have no idea what to say. And, and he's a judge, and he'll find ways to take you down if he wants to. And the dude is persistent. I know he hates you. He'll make it his business to come. Get me all the dirt we have on Judge Melstone. Sure, so find that means every on. file on the David Allen case, Frank, find any evidence of malfeasance we can use against him. All right. 
Annalise, you promised Asher you wouldn't do this. I hope his name stays out of it, agreed or not. No one can know the role he played in David's conviction. Agreed. Ah. That was before. It's his father. Your boyfriend is gonna grow up sometime. God knows everyone else in the house has. Now it's his turn. That's true. He's been behind. We're catching him up real quick. Because you didn't got us in a scenario, sir. By some stuff you didn't need to get past. But yeah, so we do have that. Okay, I'm handling my stuff. I think so. All the right so, because good. you can't tell me what you actually know. She's on it, Asher. Do you like your job? Yeah, I think you do. I just don't think you love it. Is this a therapy session now? Career counseling. You could have dropped the charges against Jill Hartford on the grounds of self-defense. And you could have seen to it that Emily Sinclair ends her witch hunt into me and my staff. Wait, now I'm doing you two favors? Or as I prefer to call it, two birds, one millstone. Millstone? Federal Judge Millstone. There's enough evidence in there to charge him with multiple counts of corruption. And just like that, you're the ballsy prosecutor running for state's attorney on an anti-corruption ticket. I'd vote for you. Okay. You just need to free my client. How'd wow. you do it? The way this matter. game works is crazy. The DA's office believes you. It's nothing but a case of self-defense. And at least gets off. So I'm free to go. Shit. One problem I'm turns into another and you gotta fix a million different problems. And then you gotta start another one. Cause now she's gonna have beef with Asher. Cause he's not gonna be able to keep back for this. Or get fired, whatever. I'm wrong blown. It might have been him calling me yesterday instead of you. I don't blame myself. A good person would cry for him right now. Grieve. But I can't. <laughs> I let him win. For far too long. And I believed him. When he said he was the only one who could ever love me. I'm so glad he's dead, Annalise. Y'all need to learn to leave. I'm glad people. Sam's dead too. Y'all need to learn to leave people. Like he wasn't dead to not be in us either. But I stayed. That'd be the problem. Y'all don't know how to pack y'all bags. It's okay. Or pack theirs for them. You're free. You finally get to be the woman you really are. Sad though, because she just wanted to be loved. For the record, I hate this. We heard you. I'll let my boyfriend hack the orphanage. It's an adoption agency, not an orphanage. There's a difference. <laughs> Whoa, this is weird. Uh, I ran a password attack on their system using a brute force algorithm called Snake. Less Lake. nerd, more information. Uh, here, this file lists an adoption under the last name Hapstall. Catherine or Caleb? Neither. It's under Helena Hapstall. When the police came the next morning, I knew they'd done it. The racist. She's the birth mother. What? Of who? A baby boy. Your aunt's charity was founded the same year she had a child, and that charity was linked to a bank account in the Caymans, which means she used it to support the child who had everything to gain from the murders of your parents and his mother. He just needed to get rid of you too. So a cousin we didn't know existed framed us? It gives us a third suspect. And the best part, juries love a secret baby. And how do we find him? They're looking right now. And just so you know, as much as I like to claim all good ideas as my own, it was these fools who found us out. It was the least they could do for you. Um, Caleb, Had to get them back in good graces. I just, I wanted to say sorry. That recording was inappropriate. You mean the part about me being guilty or the part about my butt? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's just, is it true? Your boyfriend's in jail, which means you're single now? Uh, it's a long story. In jail? All right. Maybe I'll get to you. Oh, Levi. I thought that was talking about her fiance. I'm like, what? Would you make a casserole this time? You think this is what I need right now? Oh, okay. cool. No? You want to hear me say that I did it? I know that's what she wanted. Don't tell me what my wife wanted. I'm sorry. I couldn't.
couldn't not come. Because you know what you took from me. She needed me. The whole time I was in jail, in court, but I wasn't there. Because you stole that from us. The only time we had left together. You stole that. Cobbler or apologies. It's just good Yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't hate me, too. I don't hate you. Despise? I just don't care about you. I gave Nia those pills because I loved her. So you can't be mad about lost time when you. And I laid her next to her in that bed. Held her as she fell asleep. So close, I could feel, but she took her last breath. No one's ever gonna love you that way. He's just feeling guilty, that's all. It, I don't believe he's truly, truly, truly mad at her right now. Leave. Leave! Because you can't talk to me about how I made you lose time when you just literally cut the rest of y'all time off. I mean, yes, she was suffering, but... She would have lived longer. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh, well, he was coming to see me. Yeah. But she already knew that, that they were in cahoots. Where are we going? Well, not soon enough. See, that just makes me more suspicious. Like, are you showing me your safe house? Just the spot where he buried Rebecca. Okay. It's one thing for Wes to think I'm capable of killing a girl. It's not cool when it comes from you. I'm sorry. Are you saying I hurt your feelings? Pretty much. And maybe that's my fault. The less I tell you, the more you think I'm all bad. But that's why we're here. So you can finally meet the real me. Thanks Just aren't you won't make fun of me. Thank you for a moment. Oh, yeah. Mom, we're here. Oh, finally! Well, she's showing way less cleavage in the last two, so we're off to a good start. What's your name? Laurel. Uh, everyone, this is Frank's new friend, Lauren. Laurel. Yeah, this is Adino, Lou, yeah. Joey, Teresa, Angie, Brandy, Danny, and some other guy who's always eating my food. <laughs> oh, who the hell is this? Laurel, hi. The smart girl. I know, I know. But you know what? You can't be too smart if you're dating this one here. <laughs> you hungry? Uh, Maybe yeah, this you is this crazy thing. Come on, come thing. on in. Sit right next just well put together. Let's go. Come on. Everybody. A salud. A salud. Salud. Get the bread. Come on, give it a bread. Nate's wife died last night. You don't want to talk to him. We have to finally talk, Wes. You mean you do, because you know everything now, right? From Frank, or his nature's been telling you all along. I didn't kill Rebecca. I know. That's what you want me to believe. Why else would you have me find that suitcase? She ran away, that's all I know. You know more than that. So just tell me. Is she dead? I don't know where she is. I don't believe you. And I understand that. It's because of your mother. I wish I could be the dad you wanted, but I can't. I know this doesn't make sense to you, but there's people in that house, one especially, that they don't deserve this. And just think if it were mom, you would do anything you could to protect her, right? Not if it meant selling out my own father. What? Don't play dumb. I I'm not testifying. How is that? Emily Sinclair got the DA to open an investigation on me. Every case in my career, starting with David Allen. There you go. Finally putting two and two together. We're done. Ash. This is where the conflict's about to come with Annalise and, um... Dad. Ashley. No, the lyrics are good. This part was, it's his birthday, right? I don't know his life. Tell Annalise I'm done. She won. But girl to girl, I thought you should know the real about your boyfriend. Here, in case he hasn't told you about Tiffany Howard. I'm not playing this game with you. You sure? You lost. Be an adult and move on. You're gonna regret not reading this. You're wrong. Tiffany was gang raped. Your mother killed herself. How do you know that? It's my job to know these things about all of you. There's been like tea everywhere. She abandoned you, and it's not something that a 12 year old boy gets over. Stop. Now, you can't trust anyone anymore. Definitely not a woman. Your mother leaves, now Rebecca, so I understand why you can't trust me. So I did something bad, too. It's, it's not terrorism or 
pedophilia bad, but something that might put me in jail with you when you're finally caught for whatever bad thing you did. What did you do? I kept searching for the secret baby, even though he told me not to. What? His name's Philip Jessup, a 26-year-old white male who lives two miles away from the Hapstown oh, region. It gets worse. I, I hacked into his computer. Are you insane? I mean, this guy is probably the killer. I know. It's scary, right? But like in a fun way. No! Not in a fun way. This, no. You could be a serial killer or a, a cannibal or... I don't care there? about making him he's happy. I care about making sure you don't get in trouble for all this crap that we did. No one's gonna know. Is it my fault? I shouldn't have been involved with you. Look, just turn it off, okay? Just make it stop. This isn't about my mother. It is! You won't that trust her anything probably. like her. She gave up everything for me. Her I entire life to bring me to the States. Or and it killed her. You never did or anything true. like that for anyone. Instead, you just lied. I haven't lied to you about Rachel. How do you expect me to believe it's that? the truth. Look at God. Look at me. Don't touch me. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Rebecca, by the way, is all I know. That's all she keeps saying. The one of the Delfinos. Hey, she knows the truth. She just got to go with it because Wes. These episodes always end up like, listen, crazy. crazy. Won't complain. One of the most expensive thing on the menu. I'll be gross. Is that the body? And the worst part about this is that it's destroying us. But I'm here for you, Wes. All right? I'm never leaving you. You have to stop keeping secrets from me then. You're right. The most secrets we've looked all over for her, Wes. And now they're about to find the body. Suddenly. I can't find it. Because they're always a step ahead. I'm sorry. And her being there distracted okay. from going with you. Tell me you've taken care of it. See, they're always the a right way. That this time. Good process. Don't worry. But trying to give him closure, but he's not gonna let this go. He's just gonna believe she was randomly murdered. <laughs> just happened in the last 10 minutes as always um, let's break it down so I'm, I'm gonna start with what i didn't get to talk about because too much is happening um <coughs> oliver ha kept hacking and hacking and hacking and found the cousin uh the the myth the child of the their birth mother i guess right no i thought it was the aunt the aunt was disguised as the birth mother I mean, the birth mother was disguised as the aunt, correct? Really? But that's not, that's about what they said. They said they was looking into the orphanage and found out that the birth mother oh, was the Oh, but they aunt. didn't tell them that. They just told them. That they no, didn't. no, because they didn't want to know their birth parents. They said that the... No, the, uh, they said they didn't want their birth parents being involved in uh, the murder because they don't believe that they would have done anything like that. That's what they said. But I think the aunt was the birth mother. She was staying close, I guess, apparently. But she also had another child. It's what I, I think I got. I think. And so, regardless, the other child is now 26. And that was who Oliver hacked. But he's also the hacker. And he's watching them. So, if he did really commit a murder or is in on it or any way. Or maybe he's not in it at all. He just saw that he got hacked. And now is listening to their conversations. Um... I don't know. I don't really know what part he could play. If he's a killer, he could kill Oliver, kill them, which would drive Connor insane. Or um, I don't know. Maybe he could watch them for a while. And you know, if Connor and Oliver are having pillow talk all the time, 
then he may they may slip the wrong information. This guy could use leverage against them. I don't know. It could go a couple different ways. I don't know what they want to do with that, but that's just what it's looking like anyway. But I feel like he's going to be more involved in this storyline just because he's the son of the aunt. So, mm -hmm. um, okay, whatever. Um, I, I find it always so hard to focus on what's happening with Catherine and Caleb. Like, they're, to be honest, their story is like the least interesting to me right now, despite the fact that it's obviously the, the focal point of what's happening in the future. But it's like, with a million things going on, theirs is a slow burn investigation. And I'd, I have trouble, and that's probably where my notes should come in, but I haven't been really taking them as much because it's just been a lot lately. But it, I feel like that's the biggest piece of information that we got in a while about them. Yeah, yeah, because it's always a slow burn. Like they're trying to put this whole Michaela flirting with them, and then it looked like they just pinned something on Catherine. Yeah, I really think they pinned because she has blood splatter. So I, that's why I think they maybe are trying to make it look like she either beat the prosecutor or shot Annalise. I think they're setting it up. They fit whatever it is. I think they figured out something about Catherine. Catherine is sneaky. She showed us that with her ability to record them without them realizing, mm -hmm. you know, until way after the fact. She is she's sneaky. Right, she she's is sneaky. Right. Caleb might truly be innocent. He might not know anything. So, you know, if he's truly believing in his innocence and she's the one that's guilty, all she got to do is pretend and play along and uh, go off of him or whatever. Um, but they did, I don't know. I, I can't see them just setting up an innocent girl for nothing. She did something. And but it, whatever is about to happen is getting so drastic that um Annalise had to get shot for whatever reason. Um and then they had to plant her into the woods for her to be found. And yeah. They're faking reactions everywhere. Bonnie went to clean blood off of her, Connor's freaking out, and now Michaela's going with Caleb. And he's I think the last thing he said, is it done or something like that? So I think he's in on it. So whatever it is, he turned against Catherine, it seemed like maybe. Um, still don't know what part Asher played, but we just found out that he was involved in a gang rape of um, some girl at Trotter Lake. Um, uh, so, and then Annalise then told the truth about his the David Allen case. Um, so he's going to be under investigation. He cut off Asher. I think Asher's about to flip out on Annalise, but what's done is done. So he, I don't think he can go back and testify and do all that. But the, the prosecutor was definitely being petty and was trying to basically get a blowback at Asher because um, mm -hmm. she was trying to use leverage. You know, she was trying to coerce him into taking down Annalise because she wants to take down Annalise so bad. But it's flopping. Um, now Annalise and Wes are going at it, but Wes been kind of dropping off. But she's trying to reel him back in, but I don't think she will ever be able to reel him back in. He's just, a, he's him and Laura are just a little bit too sharp. Where Laurel's flaw is she loves Frank, so therefore she can't, she calls, I don't know, she calls him out on it, on like the stuff that, you know, his potential of being a killer, his potential of, you know, covering things up. But because she loves him, I think it, it gives her a blind eye towards him and she gives him the benefit of the doubt. She's like, no, we'll just go ask Frank. Hey, he'll tell us, he'll tell us if he killed somebody. Of course he will, you know what I mean? No. And then he's good at playing it off. Like, why would you think I could kill somebody? He's like, you know, I could take it from him, but you, like he plays the whole card of, like he he's just a master manipulator. He's like, okay, she don't trust me, so let me let me show her that I'm just a normal person. Like he he puts on this picture perfect person, you know, so good that nobody would ever suspect him. Not even us. We didn't even suspect him at first. Like, cause he's so good and well put together. So she's like, well, let me show her. I come from a dysfunctional family, and blah blah blah, and paint this picture. Like you said, I don't even know if that was real. <laughs> he kept paying the people, but he's so good and so ahead of everybody. He knows what questions are about to come ask him. Um, he knows what move that they are about to make. He's already, he plans everything. He knows their next move before they know their next move. You're right. So he's just that good. I mean, and if you're a murderer, I guess you gotta be, so. Right. And, and, and at least and all of them don't even know that he killed, um, Ogre. Right, because he's so good. I yeah, Lila. He, they, they don't even know that. So he's potentially hiding, well, I think he definitely is hiding that from them. Bonnie can't clean with her kill, um, but... He hasn't, so like that's how right, she he helped because he is. She helped her, he helped, uh, he helped 
go to court guy. for a murder he committed. Yeah. So it, it just he's just too he's just good. And because he is so good at handling everything, Annalise has complete faith in him. She don't question him because he never does any wrong. He handles it like he says he does. He he said, I'm handling it and he handles it. And he's never failed. Never. I think the only thing he ever did that Annalise didn't approve of was he helped that one lady escape. Oh, yeah. That was the only thing he ever did. And, you know, did, yeah. That's and she was like, I didn't want you to help her escape. I didn't want you. But that was the only tiny thing. Other than that, you know what I mean? He even tried to play the card on Annalise. Oh, I thought you killed Rebecca. She's like, why would you think I'm capable of that? Annalise isn't a murderer. She's a lot of things, but not a murderer. She'd be keep telling these people, like, I'm not out here killing these people. Like, but because she's such a master manipulator as well. Like, she's good with her lies, but everybody knows how good she is with her lies. Which means I can't trust nothing you said to me because I see how good you lie to other people. Right. But nobody's ever really Even caught Frank a, in a lie. Oh, I was at the grocery store because that, that could be used to make me go to court to say you was at the grocery store. Girl, and she uses people without telling them. And so when they think they are, well, when they are telling their version of the truth, it's really a lie. They're going along with her lie but don't know it. So, like, that's how well she uses people. But they see her do this to other people so they know she's a known liar. Frank's never been caught lying. Therefore, they don't know he is a liar. And Bonnie don't really lie either. She's pretty much comes clean, but she just kind of tries to stay in her lane for the most part and doesn't tell the Keating for anything other, unless she gets permission to. Um, but they're doing their own thing. Um, but that, that was pretty much that. And, you know, we had a, a story of the week, which kind of helped catapult the rest of the events of the story, um, which was a trans woman being attacked. Um, by her husband she used Annalise's she called Annalise because she wanted to know she wanted to know how to make this look good so Annalise was asking the right questions she said yep I did that yep I did that I went and tore everything up mm -hmm. exactly how so then she almost got Annalise caught up so Annalise now got to defend herself because you put me in this situation and then Asher got this situation going on so shoot all right two birds one millstone boom about to handle her case and then handle Asher's situation yeah Asher gonna be a problem but she's confident that she can handle Asher but we know in the flash forward, he about to go to the police station and tell something. Now, he could confess on himself. Maybe he starts feeling guilty about what he did and he's going to confess on himself. But he could confess to Bonnie. He could confess to what they're doing. We don't know because Asher, like they said, they catching him up. And he he think he got the, the baddest thing going on right now. And, and everybody else is way ahead of him. Like, he, he just getting in some of the drama. And he, he's still not even involved in none of the main drama. He just got his own little side story going on that he just thinks is the worst thing in the world. <laughs> and it's not. <sighs> so with that all being said, you guys, feel free to clarify anything we may have misunderstood. Yeah, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. It's great to get y'all to interact. Yeah, we're going to keep it going because there's a lot to figure out here. Yeah. I don't know what to write yeah, down and whatnot. Dots to I'm starting to forget the lies and the truth. <laughs> so, like, it's just so much. But I love it. I'm, not, I'm obsessed. I'm addicted. It's, they, they keep you glued to the screen. So I'm excited to keep going. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.